Ah, the lowly username and password. Quite the most frequent and widespread authentication mechanism in history. Let's take a look at some of the concepts. First, of course, is the basic idea that a username and a password links the account stored in our system with special knowledge. In other words, the account represented by the username is linked with special knowledge or a password. Again, this is the most common method of authentication, and as a result, it's the least expensive method. The problem is it's also the most problematic because it's the least secure. I can't tell you how many times I've found people have written their password on a sticky note, placed it under their keyboard, used their pet's name, or simply didn't have one in all areas of system administration. What makes this even more of a concern is knowing that most individuals use the same password at work as they do for their personal resources, whether it's their bank's e-commerce site, their stocks, or their account at Amazon.com that might hold their credit card information. So once you penetrate or are able to gain access to one of their passwords, you're probably able to get access to all of their resources. Quite dangerous as a whole.